2022. Currently in the car and uh, working on dialing in the speed density for all the different modes, making sure this thing runs correctly in every single possible valve event, all the weighting factors dialed in correctly. It's a, it's a very tedious process. You have to lock it into the mode, make sure fuel trends are correct, verify it, flash it in again, and then switch to the next mode. And we see it's starting on this right now. Got uh, 15 different modes I'm gonna go through. And just went through uh, the first of the 15. Not bad, around 5% off. Saw like 10% correction previously, so I'm expecting some more. But not bad, I'm doing this all on 93 first. That way we can make sure it's good to go and we don't add any extra variables when we're switching to, you know, MS-109 or maybe even E85 full time if we can get the injectors to function and connect to the serial port adapter. But that's still a question mark, we haven't resolved that. We're waiting for California to wake up so that we can call them and ask for some tech support. Who knows? Got a, a very crammed day today. Um, we're hoping for some very good results. Yesterday, all we really got accomplished was hitting the stock tune on the car, which, you know, we we're happy with that. Mainly uh, over the sound, you know. That was the first time going wide open throttle, so that was pretty intense. To hear it for the first time, it sounded good. I liked it. it. Made the expected power. So today is a very busy day, and getting started right now. All right, just locked in the fourth mode. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very hot in here. My head is sweating. My brain is a little clustered. It's a very tedious process, but with the level of uh, precision that we're trying to accomplish here, it's definitely necessary. Give you a little peek at what we're doing here. Let's see if this is my histograms, histogram setup, and that last one I was doing was a uh, a valve event of negative zero or zero on the intake cam and 40 on the exhaust cam. So I locked it into that mode and then dialed in the speed density. Sorry if the camera's shaking a bunch. I'm pretty shaky right now. But, progress, going good, pretty happy with it. Once I get to some of the modes that are commonly involved in wide open throttle, I'm going to be making dyno hits on each one and then dialing in the wide open throttle. These first four have really been cruising, idle, you know, common everyday conditions. But, you know, once these are dialed in, it's going to drive amazing. It's going to be perfect. So, necessary, annoying, part of the process. Well, as if we didn't have enough stuff to try to get done, power just went out. We heard a transformer blow, so that means we have no power, no dyno. We're right in the middle of soldering the nitrous controller. So, our timeline just got a little harder. Seems to be a routine here. Cool. Update. Day two, around eight o'clock. Around eight o'clock. 
and we've gotten a lot done, but we haven't gotten a lot done. You know, we haven't really crossed a lot off of our to-do list, uh, but we've done a lot. We finally connected to the auxiliary controller. I had to use this super old laptop here that comes with a serial port. Every adapter that I tried wasn't connecting. One connected but would disconnect itself while pulling for the information from the controller, which you know, for as much as we're gonna be relying on this thing, it's just, it's not okay. So this works, thank goodness. If you have, if you have any super old laptops and you think, oh, I'll never use this, keep it. You never know. But check this out, we got a big mess coming here. So we've wired the uh, nitrous. You see, all, what we've done today really is made a big mess. We've soldered in the Nitrous Express Maximizer. We've got, uh, we had to reconfigure the stages and reconfigure the arming system. What we thought was gonna be easy was actually a lot of work and took us back a lot. You know, instead of working on what we were supposed to be working on, we are working on this wiring and just adding things to our to-do list when we were trying to cross things off of our to-do list. And then we had that crazy storm, lost power. It's, it's, been, it's been one of those days. It seems like every time you have a deadline and you're trying to meet a race, it's one of those days. We've had two in a row. So day two, we're gonna be cranking out pretty late tonight. So we still have some time. Uh, next is to try to grab RPM from, we're gonna try to tap into one of the injector signals, injector wires off the PCM, but we've tried this on my EcoBoost F-150 and we're unsuccessful previously. So might have to go to the crankshaft position sensor. It's scary because that thing is highly important to the PCM and I, I really don't like the idea of interfering with that signal at all. But if we have to do it, we have to do it. The other option is to go solely based on map. So we've got the fuel injector controller and we'll you know, make it so that at 100 kPa or 105, whatever we decide it will be, it will turn on and it's just gonna basically be full blast. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. If we wanna run, run E85 and meet this super short deadline, we're gonna have to deal with it on quite a few aspects, unfortunately. So, not a lot of cool stuff to show you just yet, but, we're getting there, and if this works, we're draining the tank and throwing in some E85, which is awesome. That's what we want to do. We want to use this, these injectors, and we want to crank it up. But so far, we have only been faced with forks and making decisions based on what we have. Hoping for the best.